Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, gonna talk to you a little bit about 2017, partially, but uh, we're also gonna uh, talk a little bit about towing and uh, some of the things I've learned this year. I have used these ratchet straps to tie everything these nylon ratchet straps under the sun down for years and years and years uh, there's a tag on them somewhere that tells you that they're rated for uh, It says, but it's rubbed off. Um, but it tells you what they're rated for. And. Oh, well, I can't find it. But anyhow. What I run into this year is I broke two of these. Uh, using them, I, I just snapped them. And you can see even this one starting to fatigue right here uh, so I don't know basically I'm done with these I'm not gonna use them anymore I have moved up to using chains and ratchet binders these are 5,400 pound wheel binders. And I'm using 3H grade 70 chain with 6,600 pound wheel. Uh, the issue I'm running into, I picked these up for a song, so we're gonna be using them to start with, is finding these chains and hooks that doesn't say China on them. It's uh, extremely difficult to find USA made chains and hooks, which is a shame, but I still am more comfortable with this uh, than I am with the strap. And the strap wheel is Right here it says 3,335 pounds. So I'm doubling, doubling it by going to the chains. Uh, but yeah, I broke two of them this year. 2017, uh, I done a video about the damage keeps adding up. It has been one of those years. I have uh, broken things. It was a very difficult crop year. I still haven't sat down and hashed out the financials on that. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. We, uh, But it is a very difficult year. And, of course, I expanded this year. I took on more things, and usually there's growing pains when you do that. Uh, that's normal. That's normal. I expect some growing pains, but, uh, you know... <laughs> Some of it's getting ridiculous. But uh, on top of that, you know, on another note, I have some dear friends that uh, are going through some tough times. Uh, I've not spoken to a couple of them about it, and it's none of my business. It is a concern of mine. They're a friend of mine. They're friends of mine. And uh, don't like for them to... Uh, being a bad spot but uh, 2017 has been a very difficult year it uh, I don't know why but it, it has so uh, but that's uh this one kind of bring your attention to that we're gonna these straps have a purpose and to be all to be honest with you I was using them uh, not in accordance with what they're designed to do they're real good for securing hay or cargo or something like that 
They are not, in my opinion, good for tying down the tractors, which is where I broke both of those. I broke them both on the new Holland TN70. So uh, these are not cheap. Like I said, I picked these up for a song. Uh, so we're going to be, from this point on, we'll be using a 3 8 binder chain, grade 70, with uh, ratchet binders. And, uh, you know, in accordance to the law, we're supposed to be using them anyhow. So I guess it's a good thing. But uh, that's what we'll be doing with that. And like I said, if anybody knows a good source for U.S. chain and chain binders, uh, comment, email me, let me know something. Because I'd really like to have some uh, U.S.-made uh, US stuff. But uh, if not, you know, I can't give $400 for a 20-foot chain. I, I just can't. To leave laying on the deck of this trailer beside the road at a field and have someone carry it off. So, until next time, like us, comment, let us know if you know where some good U.S. chain is. And uh, check us out on Facebook, Rocky Hall Farm. So, until next time, take care of yourself. Bye.